Hello, and welcome to our presentation entitled The Building Blocks of a Health Professions Pipeline Program. I am Marcus Howard, and I serve as the Program Coordinator for the Summer Health Professions Education Program at Columbia University Irving Medical Center. The SHPP program is a free summer enrichment program focused on improving access to information and resources for college students interested in the health professions. This program, more than 30 years in existence, is sponsored by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the Association of American Medical Colleges. The SHPP mission includes exposure to multiple health professions for our program scholars, aiming to alleviate challenges associated with underrepresentation of minorities and disadvantaged students in healthcare professions while providing academic enrichment, clinical experiences, and experiential learning. There is also an emphasis on interprofessional collaboration. It is imperative for us to understand the needs of our community and the diversifying of the U.S. population in order to eliminate or eradicate health care and health disparities. It is important to have a workforce that mirrors that of the population, and our program aims to do that. The Summer Health Professions Education Program's goal is to strengthen the academic proficiency and career development of students underrepresented in the health professions and prepare them for a successful application and matriculation to health profession school. There are various components that play a part of the program makeup at Columbia University, and I'll discuss a little further uh, how our goal is made a reality. First, I'll start with our career focused scholar selection. We select 80 scholars to participate in the SHPP program, 40 of which identify as pre medicine, 20 of which identify as pre dentistry, 10 of which identify as pre nursing and 10 of which identify as pre-physical therapy. We provide academic and supplemental courses uh, to our students, and historically those classes have included biology, anatomy and physiology, biochemistry, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, and biostatistics. In addition to these two courses that students are selected for based upon their transcript, we also provide them with an accelerated learning skills course, which provides students an opportunity to understand more about studying skills and ways in which to bolster their preparation for health profession school. We also provide a narrative medicine course, which provides students an opportunity to understand more about a patient's perspective during an episode of care that's provided for a patient. And last but not least, we also offer nutrition and health disparity lectures that help students to inform the way in which they function as healthcare professionals, but also help students to understand the impact of health disparities on our various populations. And as our trifecta of sorts, uh, we also provide career development, which includes academic counseling from our senior deans. It includes seminars and workshops that range from admissions to financial aid seminars. We also provide a health policy symposium where we have leading content experts on health disparities in health policy, speak to our students about the state of uh, healthcare in the United States. We also provide career exposure seminars where students are able to understand and learn from other health professionals uh, who identify as underrepresented uh, or maybe the first in their family to attend uh, health profession schools. And these seminars help to once again prepare our students for uh, that career ahead and being a healthcare professional, whether in medicine, dentistry, nursing, or physical therapy. And finally, I'll move forward to our evaluation plan. So the evaluation plan for SHPP includes pre and post tests, surveys, uh, town hall meetings, and also careful program alumni follow-up. Evaluation data is collected to assess both our process and the impact of SHPP. Tracking and reviewing systems have been designed to ensure that the program is being implemented as intended. And according to data collected on years 2001 through 2019, which are the years in which SHPEP and its former iterations were implemented at Columbia University, nearly 80% of our program participants were in a medical program or a medical program track. Of those 80% of students, nearly 60% 
of the medical program participants apply to medical school. And this program has made significant impact in exposing more black males to the field of medicine. And more recently, we've collected data on these numbers and we're proud to show that our percentage of black males in the SHPP and SMDP programs has been upwards to nearly 30%. And this is great news, uh, especially with the new troubling trends that have shown that the male attendance at medical school has been down. So this is powerful to say that we are making inroads and exposing more black males to the field of medicine and to the careers within the health professions. Last but not least, our research presents promising evidence of a unique model for diversity pipeline programs recruiting underrepresented and disadvantaged students to pursue health profession careers and ultimately address healthcare workforce diversity. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.